Welcome back to English Classes Online. In today's lesson, we are going to look at top tips for scoring high in objective test questions. And we are going to go through some YEC English uh, past questions and show you how to answer questions correctly in the objective test session. I am Benjamin from English Classes Online. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Make sure you click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video on the channel, you will be notified instantly. Come with me as we dive into the lesson right away. And we want to start looking at the questions Okay, this is West African Senior School Certificate Examination of June 2010. And we are looking, we are beginning with section one. In each of the following sentences, there is one word and one gap. From the list of words, letter A to D, choose the one that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the underlying word and that will at the same time correctly fill the gap in the sentence. Now, this is what we call contextual antonyms because you are not only looking for a word opposite meaning, but the one that can fit into that particular uh, gap. Okay. So, number one, the handsome profit from her fish business made Mrs. Oba stop complaining about her husband's dash salary. Now, the word handsome, uh, you will always say the opposite of handsome is ugly. But then we look at the context. We are looking at handsome profit, not a handsome man or a handsome boy. If you, we are talking about a handsome man, then you can say ugly. But here, we have to look for something that will uh, be equivalent to the collocate of salary, something that can go with salary. You cannot say the husband's ugly salary. So that is not possible. So this is where we eliminate A, ugly, no. B, meager, no. C, modest. Uh, meager, yes. The, the, the accurate answer is meager because you can talk of meager salary or meager anything that is poor, you know? So handsome here means big profit. So mega here means little. So that's the, the opposite. And so modest, no, lowly, no. Question number two, Chief Osa prefers fame in the village to dash in the city. Fame here means popularity. A, neglect, no. B, ignorance, no. C, poverty, no. D, obscurity, yes. When you are obscure, you are unknown. When you are famous, you are known. Today, the media houses should employ both the novice and the dash journalist. A novice is a newcomer. Uh, then, an experienced journalist or someone who, let's look for the option, A, apprentice, no. B, probationer, no. Uh, C, newcomer, no. D, veteran, yes. A veteran journalist is somebody who is an experienced, uh, you know, journalist. Okay. Then, four, while the registrar considers the matter insignificant, his deputy sees it as that. So, insignificant is something that is unimportant, but then, uh, it has to do with a matter, an unimportant matter. What is the opposite? Well, uh, A, minute, no. B, crucial, yes. is a crucial matter. A crucial matter is an important matter. An insignificant matter is an unimportant one. Now, five, it pays to be firm rather than dash in a case like this. When you are firm, you are unbending, you are rigid. What's the opposite? Flexible, yes. The opposite of firm is flexible. 
Be frank, no. See irresponsible, no. D careless, no. Number six, usually Joseph is articulate in his speech, but today he sounds dashed. When you are articulate, it means that you are, you know, you, you are delivering a very sound, uh, clear, and coherent speech, all right? A clear, no. B, turgid, no. C, timid, no. D, incoherent, yes. When you are talking of speech, if your speech is articulate, it is coherent. If it is, uh, if it is uh, the opposite, then it's incoherent. Seven, the man's first wife is loyal, while the second is dash. When you are loyal, you are faithful. So A, unfaithful is the answer. B, unkind, no. C, selfish, no. D, hostile, not necessarily. A, rather than convict him, the impartial judge dash him. The opposite of convict is to exonerate or to discharge, to acquit. Okay, A, blamed, no, B, dismissed, no, C, upheld, no, D, acquitted, yes. Discharged and acquitted means the person is declared innocent. Nine, instead of reconciling her parents, Roxanne worked hard at dash them, dividing, well, not quite, B, destroying, no, C, separating, yes. When you separate a couple, it means that, you know, uh, when a couple, when the husband and wife are separated, it means that they are not living together. They are not uh, cooperating together uh, as husband and wife. Number 10, we thought that Uche Sam's health had improved, but it had rather dashed. If the opposite of improve here is worsened or any word in, with that meaning. A, persisted, no. B, deteriorated, yes. This is another word for worsened. When something became worse, it, it, it deteriorated. Deepened, no. Decreased, no. Okay. So let's now move on to section two. And here we shall be dealing with collocations. Collocation is a grammatical concept referring to a group of two or more words that tend to be used together. You know, as you, human beings, uh, you know, keep relationships or keep company with each other, so also English words. Some English words, you know, fit in together, all right, but some do not. So from the words lettered A to D, choose the word that best completes each of the following sentences. 11, one very important aspect of human relationship is dash trust. Communal trust, no. Individual trust, no. Mutual trust, yes. Mutual goes with trust. Personal, no. 12, two tasks we are performed dash and we were able to finish early. Alternatively, no, simultaneously, yes. If two tasks are performed simultaneously and they speed up the process, it means they are performed simultaneously. That is at the same time, okay? C, consecutively, no. D, separately, no. So here, to answer questions correctly in section two, you need to have knowledge of collocation and also knowledge of um, um, well, semantics is the study of meaning. Okay, that is very important. Question number 13, the committee is charged with finding a dash solution to the crisis. A, lengthy solution, no. B, current solution, no. C, lasting solution. You know, what collocation does is that when you hear two words used together, you may have had these two words used together over time. You People talk of lasting solution. This strong solution, no. 14, we are worried by the dash that exists between the two factions of the party. 
A, distraction, no. A, B, commotion, no. C, confusion, no. D, rivalry, yes, rivalry. In fact, that is why two factions can be described as two rival factions. That means they are at loggerheads. They, they, they don't agree with each other. Number 15, our teacher was not speaking that when he said that the bossa was under a cloud. Now the word, the expression under a cloud is when someone is under suspicion. So it's a, it's a, a, a kind of figurative expression. So the teacher was not speaking literally. You know, English words have literal meaning, then, uh, uh, then you have connotative meaning, you have figurative meaning, okay? So literal is the ordinary meaning of an expression, but figurative is something that goes beyond the ordinary meaning, such as under a cloud, okay? B, simply no, C, frankly no, D, directly no. 16, the signature on the document lacked dash, so it was rejected. Now, what goes with a document? Is it clarity? No. B, authenticity? Yes. Now, if a signature, I mean a signature and document, you are talking about, you know, authenticity. An authentic uh, signature is the exact signature of the owner. But then the one that is fake or forged is the one that is not uh, the exact signature of the owner. C, formality, no. D, simplicity, no. Something is either authentic or fake. 17, everyone could tell that Binta was happy from the dash on her face. A, picture, no. B, appearance, no. C, expression, yes. You talk of the expression on someone's face. D, sight, no. 18, his last novel was dashed by his visit to prisons. A, inspired, yes. To inspire is to give you an idea for a, a, a work of art. B, generated, no. C, conceived, no. D, revealed, no. 19, <clears throat> excuse me. As a result of the power cut, production at the paint factory came to a dash. A, hold up, no. B, blockade, no. C, stand still, yes. If something comes to a standstill, it stops for that moment. D, suspense, no. 20, several dash were passed at the meeting. What do you pass at a meeting? A, memoranda, no. Uh, B, decisions. You don't pass decisions. You take decisions. C, resolutions. Yes, you pass resolutions. Okay, so the word pass goes with resolutions. You pass resolutions. You reach some decisions. You arrive at some, uh, you know, conclusions and so on and so forth. D, actions, no. Okay, now this brings us to the next section which is section three. And this has to do with sentence interpretation. Here we use imagery, symbolism, metaphor, and contextualization. Now you can look for a video I have uploaded on sentence interpretation or how best to interpret idioms and idiomatic expressions. But in section C, we shall be dealing specifically with that. Now, after each of the following sentences, a list of possible interpretations is given. Choose the interpretation that you consider most appropriate for each sentence. Number 21, James and Henry were at daggers drawn when I knew them. Now, you use imagery. When people draw daggers, what do they do? They are angry with each other and they might want to, you know, uh, stab each other with a dagger. So what does that, does that suggest? This means that they, A, we are always angry with each other, yes. B, always war daggers, no. C, we are good at drawing daggers, no. D, we are fighting everybody. 
definitely no. 22, my book has become dog-eared through use. This means that A, the corners of the pages of my book were crumpled. Yes, dog ears. Imagery can help you. You see how the, the ear of a dog, what it looks like. If your book looks like that, it's crumpled, okay? So imagery can help you to figure out the meaning of a, an idiomatic expression. Be my book is designed like dog's ears, no? <clears throat> See, my book is indispensable. No, D, my book is torn. No. 23, Musa does not believe that there is poverty in Africa. He is a dyed in the wool capitalist. Dyed in the wool, something that is that doesn't change easily. When something is dyed in the wool, it is almost indelible. Okay? This means that Musa is a, a kind capitalist. No. B, a thoughtful capitalist, no. C, an old capitalist, no. D, an unbending capitalist, yes, unbending. It's an unbending capitalist. That's exactly what it is, okay? 24, whenever my cousin comes to realize that I am telling the truth, she will eat humble pie. When you eat humble pie, you accept that you are wrong. And then when that happens, you want to apologize. This means that my cousin will A, respect me, no, B, hate herself, no, C, apologize, yes, D, be ashamed, no. 25, I had dinner with Tony and Nick and they talked shop the whole time. When you talk shop, you talk about your job or about your business, about your work or workplace. This means that they talked A, about buying things from the shop, no. B, about their job, yes. When you talk shop, you talk about your job. C, all the time, no. D, about talk, about talk, uh, about taking me to the shop, <laughs> certainly no. Now beware of those literary, inter uh, literal interpretations. Beware of them. 26, his decision to reconcile with his former agent paid off. If something pays off, the, the, the aim is achieved. It succeeds. Okay? It yields the desired result. This means that the reconciliation A yielded positive result. Yes. <clears throat> That's the correct option. B, cost him a lot of money. No. C, was unsuccessful. No. D, cost him some trouble. No. 27. The beauty of Bimpe's garden shows that she has seen green fingers. When you see green fingers, it means that you know a lot about planting flowers or crops or plants. It just has to do with agriculture. Green revolution refers to agriculture. This means that Bimpe A always paints her finger green. No, B is good at growing plants. Yes, yes. C turns everything she touches to green, no? D likes keeping green objects, no? 28, I would have visited you, but for my father's ill health, this means that my A, father's ill health would have made me visit you, no? Father's ill health prevented me from visiting you, yes. But for me, I would have visited you, but I, did, I couldn't visit you because my father was ill. C, father threatened to fall ill if I visited you, no. D, father did not fall ill, so I couldn't visit you, no. 29, her husband's death has forced her to tighten her belt. This means that she has A, become more economical, uh, B, adjusted her belt, C, become very aggressive, D, become very greedy, no, become more economical. That is what it means, become more. Now, question number 31. Some candidates take examinations in their stride. If you take something in your stride, it means that you, you don't worry about it. You take it calmly. This means that they, A, prepare hard for them. No, 
B, do not worry about them. Yes. C, find them insurmountable. No. D, are familiar with them. No. Now, let's move on to section four. And this has to do with synonyms, words nearest in meaning. From the words lettered A to D below each of the following sentences, choose the word or group of words that is nearest in meaning to the underlying word, and uh, that is as it is used in the sentence. So it has to do with contextual synonyms as it is used. You know, English words are like cha chameleons. As chameleons change their color from one uh, physical environment to another, so English words change their colors from one linguistic environment to another. So look for the meaning, then find the exact synonym. 31, the provocation had an instantaneous effect on him. Something instantaneous is something immediate, OK? A, lasting, no. B, an immediate, yes. A, a terrifying, no. D, a momentous, no. An immediate effect on him. 31, I woke up feeling rather queer. Something queer is something strange, something unusual. A, fine. B, strange, yes. C, strong, no. D, tired, no. The actual uh, correct option is B, strange. 33, if he declines the offer, it will be better for him to decline is to refuse that is to reject the offer. A ignores no, B denies no, C snobs no, D rejects yes. When you decline an offer, you reject the offer. 34. Our club encourages benevolence. Benevolence is a kind gesture or charity, if you like. A affluence no, B sincerity no, C charity yes. D, association, no. 35, such utterances are inimical to the peaceful coexistence of the two communities. If something is inimical, it is harmful, it is destructive. A, unhelpful, no. B, unimportant, no. C, harmful, yes. Harmful, inimical. D, useless, no. 36, the chairman observed that Andrew was the most qualified. If you are qualified for a job, you are suitable. All right? A, suitable, yes. You are suitable for a position if you are qualified for it. B, accommodating, no. C, responsible, no. D, interesting, no. <clears throat> 37, what do you intend to do with these inanimate objects? If something is inanimate, it is lifeless, it is it's not a living object. A lively, no. Inanimate. Lively is the opposite. B fascinating, no. C precious, no. D lifeless, yes. Yes, inanimate objects are lifeless objects. 38. Everybody noticed that the chairman's excuse was lame. A lame excuse is completely unacceptable. It's, is is not uh, cogent a verbose no b precise no c unsatisfactory yes d unconditional no unsatisfactory unacceptable 39 the president appointed such staunch supporters of his policies as advisors a staunch supporter is a very strong one a, trusted, no. B, critical, no. C, affluent, no. D, strong, yes. 40, the little boy gave his candid opinion of the incident. Candid means frank, sincere, all right? A, quick, no. B, brief, no. C, frank, yes. D, horrid, no. Now, this brings us to section number five. All right, where we are going to wrap up. And here we are going to look at some grammatical principles 
rules of concord, collocation, sequence of tenses, and so on. Now let's begin from the word or group of words, letter A to D. Choose the word or group of words that best completes each of the following sentences. 41. Why are you always jealous dash other people? The preposition is of. You are jealous of. And so, option A, of. That's correct. You are jealous of. So it's collocation. Certain prepositions go with certain uh, adjectives. Jealous of. 42, it is sad that the rich dash pity the poor. Doesn't, no. The rich is a plural subject, so it should go with a plural verb. Okay, it's a nominalized adjective, and nominalized adjectives are always used as plural subjects. So when you have the rich, then it should be followed with a plural verb. Don't is correct. You know, it is sad that the rich don't pity the poor. 43, the motorcycle nearly hit Jane and dash a me. Yes, because, you know, when you say hit, then what should follow is an, ob an objective pronoun. Now, you cannot say the motorcycle nearly hit Jane and I, because if you remove Jane and what is left is I, and it is ungrammatical. You cannot say the motorcycle nearly hit Jane, ne uh, nearly hit I. You cannot. You can only say the motorcycle nearly hit me. So to confuse you, Jane and was brought in here. And usually a lot of people will put I here. The motorcycle nearly hit Jane and I. Absolutely incorrect. Okay. 44. I found my friend sitting dash the beach. On the beach. That's the preposition. On the beach. You sit on the beach. 45. It is about time you dash. When you use the expression about time or high time, the verb that follows must be uh, past tense. And this is part of what we call the subjunctive mood. I have uploaded a video uh, that discusses what exactly is the subjunctive mood, okay? You can look for that video on this channel and watch it. It is about time you dashed to bed. You went to bed. That's the accurate option. 46, we shall not dash, uh, was C next May. That is an exam. A sitting, you don't sit in an exam. B sit at, you don't sit at an exam. C sit, yes, you can sit an exam. And D sit to, you cannot sit to an exam. So the answer is C. We shall not sit was C next May. 47. One of his close friends dash a soldier. A is, yes, because this is the rule of uh, Concord. One of, one here is a singular subject. So one is, okay? One of his soldiers is, one of his friends is a soldier. 48. Does Omar dash in the city? Does Omar lives in the city incorrect? That's option A is wrong. Lived, you cannot say does lived, no. It breaks the rule of sequence of tenses. Live is correct. Does Omar live in the city? 49, the meeting of the dash will come later today. Secretary General is correct because if you if you have to pluralize uh, a compound noun, you look for the head word. Secretary general, secretary is the head word. That is what should be pluralized. Secretaries general. When you have head of state, it is not head of states. It is heads of states. Okay? Governors general. 
not governor generals, directors general, not director generals. You, you know, so B is incorrect, secretary generals, no? So for 50, his father has a dash. Now this is uh, the order of adjectives and you, if you will look for uh, a video I uploaded on the adjective word order. Now, there is an acronym that I call um, um, you know, it begins with the determiner dosas come D for determiner O for opinion S for size A for age another S for shape then those as come, then C for color, O for origin, M for material, P for purpose. So this, that is the order. Look for that video on adjective word order. You can use the playlist on this channel, the uh, English grammar lessons. Check through the playlist and you will find adjective word order watch that video and it will explain to you how you answer this but let's go through the option round wooden beautiful table no because beautiful is opinion which should come first followed by round which is um, which is shape it should be beautiful round wooden table wooden is material which should come towards the last so wooden round no beautiful wooden round no beautiful round wooden table yes it is d 51 the teachers don't teach us do they now the rule for question tags is what we call positive negative if you have a positive statement then what follows must be a negative uh, tag if you have a negative statement then a positive Tag should follow. Now, the teachers don't teach us. Well, this is negative that is coming first. What should follow is, is then positive, negative, positive. The teachers don't teach us, do they? So, option A is correct. 52, we are no dash friends. No more friends is incorrect. No longer friends is correct no longer it's not no more 53 can you tell us how the accident came dash came up no came by no came out no came about you know came about was brought about that's the correct option now 54 she wondered if the water was not dash hot for drinking too hot for drinking option b too hot for drinking. 55. The robbers were subjected to a thorough beating by the irate mob. To is the preposition. You subject someone to something. 56. The cook should have dashed the pepper and the tomatoes together. Ground is the past tense of grind. Okay, so that's the, the right option. Ground. The cook should have ground the pepper and the tomatoes together. You don't say grind when referring to the past, and you don't say grinds, and you don't say grounded. Grounded has to do with when maybe the aircraft was grounded somewhere, but certainly not the past tense of grind. 57, my friends would not believe me if I dashed them the story. They would not believe me if I told them, you know, sequence of tenses. When you have, uh, when you have a past tense in the main clause, what follows in the subord in the in the comp in the subordinate clause should also be past tense. That's the rule of sequence of tenses. Again, I have uploaded a video that gives you detailed explanation about sequence of tenses okay you can watch that video 58 even before his burial 
Okoye's family members were already planning how to share his wealth dash themselves. If it is two persons, you can say share between. If it is three or more, you share among. So family members, you know, share among themselves. That is the correct option. So option C is correct. 59, the principal advised all the students to be of help to dash. Students should be many. So if you, if you are talking of two, you talk of each other, but three or more should be one another. So option D is correct. The principal advised all the students to be of help to one another. Okay, so let's look at this. 16. Mr. Akon needed help, needed dash help to succeed in the business. A little help should be more appropriate. Okay, so let's move on to question number 61. Susan has been urging me to join the dash. Is it girl guides? No. Girls guide? No. Girls guides? No. Girl guide, yes, that's the appropriate option. D, girl guide. 62, three kilometers, dash quite a long distance. Now, when you have a unit, it takes a singular verb. Three kilometers is quite a long distance, not a, okay? 63, if they had known us, they dash will not have treated us like that no would not treat us like that no will not have treated us like that no would not have treated us like that yes this is a conditional sentence all right 64 the teacher made us dash five poems each recite made us recite not made us recited because that would be double past tense, which doesn't quite uh, go together. The teacher made us recite. You make somebody do something. 65, each one of the 10 chosen contestants uh, uh, did dash lunch with, uh, so let's... Uh, Let's take question number 65 again. There was an interruption. Each one of the 10 chosen contestants dash lunch with the patron. Each one has had, because it should be a singular verb, has had lunch with the patron. Have had, no. Are having, no. Have, no. 66. The teacher needs dash to write the notes on the chalkboard. A, chalks, no, chalk is uncountable. You can talk of pieces of chalk, but as material is uncountable. A chalk, no, some chalk, yes, that is C, some chalk. 67, Madam Abike turned dash 13 bags of maize at the first harvest. Turned on, no, turned out, yes. To turn out to produce is to turn out. 68. The teacher, as well as his students, dash working very hard. Now, the actual subject is the teacher. Uh, this is an accompaniment uh, concord. When you have along with or as well as, then you pick the, the, the first. Uh, subject is the real subject and then the verb should agree with that one. The teacher is singular so the verb should be singular. Is is correct. The teacher as well as a student is working very hard. Now what this means is that the teacher is working very hard. By the way, his students are also working very hard with him. So, 69, the mother remarked that it was high time with Dash preparing the supper. Now, when you use the expression high time, 
the verb that should follow should be past tense. If we are starting, no, had started, no, started, yes. The mother remarked that it was high time we started preparing. That's the appropriate option. 70, all we need, dash dedicated teachers. All we need, now all we need. I, no, was, no, see, is, yes. All we need is, because the verb should agree with the subject, not the complement. 71. Though Yusuf is a much younger lawyer, you cannot compare his eloquence dash his masters. A by no, you don't compare by. B with yes, you compare something with another. That's the correct option. 72. The student wondered why the sun constantly rises dash the east. In the east is correct. The sun doesn't rise by or from or within, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. 73. Mrs. Kofi is angry, dash her daughter's lack of interest in her business. Now, you are angry with someone, but you are angry at someone's behavior. So the appropriate preposition is A, at. Mrs. Kofi is angry at her daughter's lack of interest in her business, okay? 74, until I heard him myself, I dash imagine that he said that. A, did not imagine, no. B, could not have imagined. Could not have imagined. That's the appropriate option. Until I heard him myself, I could not have imagined that he said that. 75, the last but not the least question. No sooner had the war started, dash, the soldiers deserted the village. Whenever you find the expression, no sooner, what follows is done. No sooner done. So that's the correct option. Now, let's look through the option. Option A, that, no. B, when, no. C, as, no. D, done, yes. No sooner had the war started, than the soldiers deserted the village. Now, this is where we draw the curtain on today's class. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like the video, share it with your friends and relations. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, this is the appropriate time for you to hit the subscribe button. And also click on the bell icon so that whenever I up I upload a new video, you will be notified instantly. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now and remain blessed. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Subscribe now as a way of giving us support. For notification about new videos, click on the bell icon. You will find the bell icon Click on it so that whenever a new video is uploaded, you will be instantly notified. If you have actually enjoyed the video, like and share the video with your friends and relatives. This is very important. If you have any comments, leave your comments below. Any questions, any suggestions, we would gladly receive them and respond promptly and positively to them see you in the next video i look forward to always seeing you in the new video